Okay, so for problems 4, 5, 6, calculate the amount of energy required to heat the air in a house. Okay, 15 by 25 by 20 meters from 20 degrees Fahrenheit to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The density of air is, ayun you no, know, binigay now, another problem like the one before. That your Q is equal to M CP I delta T. That is the sensible heat. Sensible heat ba yun? Basta heating, okay? Constant pressure heating. Now, uh, wala ka na namang M, pero meron kang volume, okay? Meron kang density ng air. So, yung mass mo kasi is equal yan sa density times the volume. Okay? Density of the air and then the volume of the room. So, therefore, Q is equal to density, volume, CP ng air. Okay? CP ba ng air ang gagamitin, sir? Yes, yeah, CP ng air. Okay, tapos delta T. Q will be equal to density, 1.2 kilogram per meter cube. Tapos the volume. What is the volume? 15 by 25 by 20 meter cube. Makukuha mo na yung mass dyan. What is the CP? Uh, what is the CP of air? 1.0062 kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin. Ang problema mo, o oh yan, constant pressure naman, 0 0.24. Ibig sabihin, uh, equal naman yan sa 1 point, 1 point, equal yan sa 1.0062. Kapag, SI. Okay? And then, uh, the temperature change from, okay, from. So, kailangan natin ng temperature change to degree Celsius. Naka-degree Fahrenheit yan. O, divide mo ng 1.8. Okay? Yung 90 minus 20 degree Celsius na to or Celsius degree. Meron pa ba? Anong kinukuha nating unit dyan? That is also in kilocalories. Ay, hindi naka-indicate dito. So, kilojoule dapat ang bababa dito. Cancel natin same units. Kilogram. Kilogram, degree Kelvin, Celsius degree, cubic meter, cubic meter. Ang lumabas is kilojoules. Kailangan natin in kilocalories. Times 4.187 kilojoule okay 1 kilocalorie okay the answer will be 1.2 times 15 times 25 times 20 times 1.0062 ngayon pag pumunta ka naman diyan ng ano pag pumunta ka ng uh, board exam pwede ng 1 yan okay pwede ng board exam yan so, 90 minus 20, that is 70. 70 divided by 1.8 times 4.187. The answer will be 84,110. Okay. Q will be equal to 84,110. 1.53. Kilocalories. Ganun lang kadali yun. Okay? Inulit ko lang yung problem number 3. So, problem number 5. <coughs> the hot gas. Oh, so, meron ka ng conductance dito. The hot gas temperature in a heat exchanger is 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Where HO is 0 0.1 HP per feet square degree Rankine. What is the surface temperature on the wall if the heat transferred is 100,500 watt per meter squared. Now, anong gagawin natin dyan? The solution will be Q over, di ba meron ka dyang overall conductance, Q is uh, HA TO minus TI. Okay. 
yung Q, meron na tayo, wala tayong A. Pero meron dito ang binigay na heat transfer per unit area. So, that is Q divided by A. Yung unit na yun, okay? So, Q divided by A will be equal to H TO minus TI. Ang kinukuha mo dito, what is the surface temperature on the wall? So, that is TI. Algebraically, pwede na nating i Resolve tong TI. Pero pwede pa nating i-resolve to lahat. So, this will become um, QA tapos HO equal to TO minus TI. Ang hinahanap natin is TI. Okay? Solve na natin yung TI. That is TO minus QA HO. Ngayon yung TO, meron na tayo. Dapat yan naka-absolute. So, this is 300 Ti. 300 plus 460 para maging degree Rankine. Ang hinahanap dito is in degree Fahrenheit minus yung Q na ibinigay. Conversion na lang, 100,500 Watt per meter squared. Tapos, di-divide mo pa ng value ng no, 0.1 0.1 HP per feet squared degree Rankine. So, pwede ka na dito mag-multiply na lang ng <clears throat> cancel mo na lang tong feet, eh, yung meters. O, oh, multiply mo na lang ng 1 meter tapos 3.28 feet square mo. Okay? Yung HP gawin mong uh, watt kasi 0.746. Hindi pala. Kilowatts yan. 746 watts. Pwede na yan. 746 watts per 1 HP. Okay. Meron ka ng degree Rankine. Ngayon, para maging degrees Fahrenheit yan, all you have to do is I-minus mo ng 460. O, isahang solving na lang. Isang calculate na lang. Tapos na yan. Okay? So, unahin ko muna itong part na to Okay? Yun ang dito. 300 plus 460, I think that is 760. Minus yung 100. 100 tapos 500. Tapos, uh, nasa baba yung 3.28. Okay? 3.28 naka-square. Times 0.1. Times 746. Yan. And then, you have to... Tignan nga natin. Okay? You just have to... Uh, di, uh, diminish yung 460 dito. Deduct mo na lang yung 460. Now, the answer is... Ayan, isang pindutan, 174 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature inside. Ti is equal to uh, 174.778 degrees Fahrenheit. Ganun lang kadali. Algebra lang. Algebra lang ang sagot dyan. Okay? That is for problem number 5. How about problem number 6? If the total resistance to heat flow of a composite wall, total resistance, so oh, total resistance U. Uh, okay, U is 0.12 meter squared degree Kelvin. Balik na yan. Eh. Dito natin sa baba. Okay. Total resistance, di ba? U is equal to 0.12 meter squared degree Kelvin per watt. Ayan. Yan na yung U natin. What is the overall transfer coefficient? Yan ang mahirap doon. What is the overall transfer coefficient? Ang inahanap niya is the K. Okay, the K. So, U yung ibinigay sa'yo. Okay. K ang inahanap. Now, how we we solve this? ba diba ang U is reciprocal ni K? Okay. 
Yun ang hinahanap natin. Okay? Ito lang yun. Mabalik na rin mo lang. Conversion lang to. So, kung conversion lang ang hanap mo dyan, so you, tama ba? The overall conductance, overall transfer coefficient. Okay, yun lang yun. So, U is 0.12 meter squared degree Kelvin per joule per second. Yan na yung pag-solve mo sa kanya. Ngayon, uh, i-convert mo na lang yung joule, okay? To BTU. So, meter Kelvin joule per second. Ila lipat mo to dito. Equal yan sa 0.12. 0.12, okay? Meter squared. Degree Kelvin, seconds, Joule. Now, uh, U is equal to 0.12 meter squared, degree Kelvin, seconds, tapos Joule. Problema mo dito, dapat naka-pound, na naka, naka-pound tuloy. Naka, ano siya, naka-BTU. Okay? Multiply ko na to. Okay, ng 1 point, hindi na pala, 1,055 joule per BTU. Okay. Times yung degree Kelvin. Okay, degree Kelvin, that is, excuse me, dapat, ah, uh, 4 over 5 baliktad degree Fahrenheit per degree Kelvin. Okay. Any conversion. <laughs> Excuse me. Tapos yung seconds to hours. Okay. 3,600 seconds, 1 hour. Itong problema mo dito, kailangan maging feet squared to. Okay. Sir, saan ko kunin yung inch? Ano ba hinanap dyan? Ah, BTU hour. Wala palang inch. Okay. Times. Okay. Times. 3.28 feet 1 meter. Square mo yan. Okay. Meron pa ba tayo? Cancel na natin. Okay. Cancel natin yung same units. Yung meter squared. Okay. Yung meter squared. Yung seconds, yung seconds, degree Kelvin, degree Kelvin, yung joule, yung joule. Tapos kukunin na natin yung reciprocal niya, okay? Solve mo muna yung U. So that is 0.12 times 1055 times 4 times 3.28 squared. Ayan. So, that is 5 times 3, 6 yung nasa baba. Okay. The answer will be 3.28. Okay. Tapos 5. Mm-hmm. 0.12. Tama. 1055 for 3.28 squared. Okay. The answer is U. 0.3026696533. Aha. Feet squared degree Fahrenheit hour per 
BTU. So, kunin natin yung reciprocal. Ayun na lang, raise mo na negative 1. The answer is K is U raised to negative 1. 1.468 ay 1.468 mali 3.3039 BTU per feet squared degree Fahrenheit hour nangyari dun oh mali so naka degree Fahrenheit that is 9 over 5 dapat 4 over 5 tuloy. 9 over 5. Mali ako ng sulat. Kanina pa ako 4 over 5, 4 over 5. Okay. So, let us get back. Kaya nagtataka ako, na malikmata na naman ako. That is 9 over 5 dapat. Hindi 4, 4 over 5. Okay. That is, ayan. Copy natin ang buo. Ayan. Nakita ko rin. 0.6810672. Yan. And then, raise na lang natin siya ng negative 1. Para reciprocal. The answer is, is 1.468. Yan. So, we have problem number 6. Ganun lang kadali. Conversion lang talaga nagpapatagal sa kanya. 1.468. BTU per feet squared degree Fahrenheit hour. Okay? So that is for problem number six. Let me take a five minute break. <music>